Gone are the days when businesses used to operate within boundaries. Now everything is becoming global, international. So when we talk about international trade, we are talking about buying and selling goods and paying in foreign currency. When we talk about international trade, one of the concern is what if we buy from X country and we have to pay them in their currency. And by the time we are paying them in their currency, what if our local currency depreciates and the foreign currency appreciates as a result we have to pay more so in this video i'm going to discuss how to minimize the risk of adverse movement in foreign currency rates one of the tools which we are going to discuss is through hedging and to be more precise in this video i'm going to discuss about currency futures how currency futures are used to hedge against foreign currency payments. So here there is an example. A US company purchases goods worth 720,000 euros from a European company. Which this amount of 720,000 euros is payable in 30 days. And the concern of US company is by the time they have to pay in euros, what if euros appreciate against dollar or dollars depreciate against euro? For example, just to understand, uh, the current exchange rate is uh, $2 are equal to 1 euro. And by the time in 30 days when we have to pay for euros, what if the exchange rate becomes $3 for 1 euro, which means we have to pay more dollars. So there is a possibility that the euro may strengthen against dollar. And if it happens, what can we do now to minimize the damage? The idea is to hedge through currency futures. So here what is happening is the current spot rate is 0.925 dollars to 0.9211 for 1 euro and the future rate is 0.9245 per 1 euro. Standard size of a 3 month future contract is pound 125,000. Now what is a future contract? A future contract is a standardized contract to buy and sell fixed amount of currency at a fixed future date. Currency futures are exchange traded, they're not settled over the counter. So the underlying transaction takes place at spot rate and the difference between spot and future rate is settled between the two parties. So here in 30 days time the spot rate would be 0.9345 to 0.9351 per 1 euro. Closing future price is given to us as 0.9367 for 1 euro. So we need to evaluate the hedge. So what we need to understand here is if we purchase a currency future at spot rate today and if euros appreciate in value, how much of this loss can be minimized through currency futures? So the very first thing we need to understand is that currency futures cannot be purchased in any amount. There are standardized contracts. The standard size of future contract is given as 125,000. We need to understand how many contracts we need to buy for this amount. So I'm talking about number of contracts. The amount we need to hedge is 720,000 euros. And one contract, you cannot buy any amount, one contract you can buy for 125,000. So it comes to approximately six contracts. We need. Another thing we need to know is which contract we are talking about. We are talking about a three month contract, three month future contract because though we have to pay in 30 days but the contract available is a three month future contract and the size of the contract is 125. So 720 divided by 125 we need to have six contracts which are three months in period. The other thing we need to understand is we are buying euros because we have to pay after 30 days and in order to buy euros we have to spend in dollars. Now we're talking about the type of contract which is either buy euros or sell dollars. Obviously if we sell dollars only then we can buy euros. The next very important thing is the tick size which determines the profit okay understand what is a tick size tick size is generally 
of movement in four decimal places. Like for example, if you look at this 0 0.9245, this is a future rate on the day, the spot rate. Spot rate, currency future is 0 0.9245. By the time we are finishing the contract, the closing is 0 0.9367, 0 0.9367. So the difference is around 122 ticks. One tick is like 0 0.9245 and at the time of closing the contract, if it is 0 0.9246, that means this is one tick. The fourth decimal place, one tick. Okay, so the tick size is one. The amount of one contract is 125,000. So it gives us 12.5 dollars of profit if there is a favorable movement in the future like the spot rate of future was something else and the closing rate of future is different if it removes by one tick so on a contract of 125 one tick will give us a profit of 12.5 dollars so this profit is actually contract size into one tick that's the minimum movement in the prices. Now we are told that the closing future price is 0 0.9367 is dollar 0 0.9367. So if you look at the opening future rate, opening future rate was 0 0.9245 it's 122 ticks 122 ticks each tick gives us a profit of 12.5 dollars and we have not one contract but we have six contracts so into six contracts so if we buy a currency future now at a spot rate which is 9245 this was the spot rate when we purchased the currency future and at the settlement date which is after a month the closing rate was this how many movements how many tick movements 122 points 122 points or 122 ticks each tick makes a profit because it's a favorable movement uh, gives you 12.5 dollar and we have six contracts so that gives us total profit of $9,150. So this is the profit which we have made because of favorable movement in the currency future. The last thing we need to understand is the net outcome, which is the spot market payment. What we need to do is spot market payment. We wanted 720,000 euros and we are talking about yes now guys please understand this first one is known as offer and this is known as bid bid is when we are selling the dollars okay so bank is purchasing and we are selling so for point for 720,000 euros 30 days spot rate we have to pay 0 0.9351 dollars so this gives us a total payment in dollars of 673,272. So this is what we have to pay if the pounds strengthen. The good news is because we purchased a currency future and there we made a profit of 9150. So if we net it off, 9150 is the profit we have already made through currency futures. So the net payment which we have to pay is not 673, actually effectively we are paying the net payment is, is 664,122. So how to read this? Had we not purchased a currency future, after 30 days, this is the amount we had to pay in order to purchase and pay, uh, pay the European supplier 720,000 pounds, we would have to pay 673,000 dollars and 272. But since we made a profit because of opening and closing spot rate movements, 122 ticks, so 
this payment minus the profit this is the net amount which we have paid otherwise had we not gone into the currency future we would have paid 673,000 but now if we minus the profit from this payment we have to pay only 664 minusing the profit means around $9,150 we made in profit from currency futures so this amount is already with us remaining we have to pay which is 664 122 so guys i hope you have understood what are currency futures basically currency futures are used as a tool for hedging against foreign currency adverse movements so if you have any queries relating to currency futures please leave it in the comment i will reply to you as usual if you like this video please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and show that you value my work do press the bell notification button so that you get my videos on a timely basis. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Love you all.